it's pretty customary now to leave a small gift for your guests to enjoy. When I talk to a lot of hosts, they say, well, I used to leave beer or wine or fill in the blank, but no one ever thanked me. So I thought, why bother and got rid of it? Not every review is going to mention your little offering, but some will. And the biggest indicator of if it is a successful welcome gift is if it's being taken. The welcome gift you provide is just like the other gifts in your life that you give and receive. What makes it special is the thought put in behind it. So unless you live in wine country, wine is not the most thoughtful gift. I like to give something edible and something tangible. Just keep in mind, whatever it is, you need to be able to scale it. It can't be something that's really hard to source for your caretaker or you to put at the property. Think back to your guest avatar and what they would enjoy. Here are some things I do and maybe it'll spark some ideas. At the treehouse, I leave a sweet treat, which are the hands down world's best giant brownies that are made down the street from us. And they're actually um, packaged so we can buy a month's worth at a time. I also leave some macadamia nuts for a salty treat, which are also made on the island. Since we have rainwater collection there, the water isn't technically drinkable. So I leave a couple of these large Hawaii brand water bottles, which are actually quite pretty. Plus we put in our guidebook and tell guests where they can uh, find the roadside filling stations in order to reuse them. For the tangible gift, I used to leave stamped generic Big Island postcards, which were fun, but then I got on to 99designs and I hosted a contest and I had a designer come up with these awesome postcards that uh, were based off of guests' Instagram posts. Keep in mind all the details. So I could put a flag stamp on there, but instead I found these amazing tropical bird stamps that make them perfect. We also prompt the couple um, to write a little love note on there and then my caretaker will mail them and they can read it when they get home if they choose. Remember my avatar there are honeymooners. At uh, the fire lookout, my avatars are outdoorsy millennials that drive Subarus with mountain bikes and carry hydro flasks everywhere. Since there isn't anything local to eat in that area, I made a little trail mix bar. So I bought a five pack of the clear canisters of varying sizes and I filled the biggest with granola and then the smaller ones I put uh, M&Ms, craisins, mixed nuts, mini marshmallows. And then I just bought these um, small white little craft bags and a little stainless scoop. And so they can make their own uh, custom trail mix there. And then for the tangible gift, I also use 99designs, which is a website where you can submit a description of what you want designed and a bunch of different designers or graphic uh, uh, designers, I guess, submit their work and then you choose the winner and that's the person who gets the commission. Um, they're usually around a couple hundred dollars for a project. So I use them to make me two stickers at the lookout. So one is of the actual lookout and the other one is the sauna deck because you gotta put something on that hydro flask. Um, at the potato hotel, I leave an Idaho spud bar, which is a candy bar that's shaped like a potato because how could I not? But uh, people either love those or hate those. So I also found a candy bar with a light pink wrapper that fits my decor and it's called pigs and taters and it has bacon and potato chips in it. For the tangible gift, I leave a couple little uh, potato lapel pins that say Idaho on them and no one ever leaves them. Some people lose theirs and then email us well after their stay to get new ones. At the Hobbit Hole, I leave uh, fresh baked cookies and a raspberry scone from our local bakery. They're wrapped in saran wrap, but I have my caretaker fold them into like little flower towels with a twine bow so it fits the space more. Uh, since I designed the home as though a carpenter hobbit lived there, there's a workbench with carving tools. So we leave a couple little wood blocks and directions on how to carve. It's supposedly a three minute owl <laughs> in the guidebook. A little thoughtfulness goes a long way and it just makes your guests feel more cared for.